Welcome to the Product Development Training Program. In this video, we will be discussing the role of team members. It takes many roles to develop a new food product. A product development team can be very successful with all members contributing expertise. The challenge is communicating effectively to make sure everyone is on the same page with the status and goals of the project. Team members include sectors like product development, engineering and production, quality, regulatory, and marketing and sales. Let's discuss each role one by one. The first one is product development. The product developer is in charge of developing new products, especially in terms of hands-on testing and managing the development process. Most of the time if the company is in its conceptual stage, this person may be the team leader. Their duties include product formulation, determining sensory attributes, running shelf life tests, knowing food safety concerns, testing the process, considering nutrition, and calculating costs. That last point may need input from others as well. The second one is engineering and production. Engineers and production managers help determine process design. This includes equipment design and maintenance, process controls, production costs of line speeds, overhead costs, etc., employee training and sanitation. In some cases, they may also help with the package design. This includes shelf life, handling, cost, consumer safety, and consumer handling. The third one is quality. The quality team ensures that the consumer expectations are met. Sensory and quality attributes are tested by them to make sure the product meets the specifications. They also make sure that the food is safe to consume. There are different checks and tests to make sure the product is safe to consume. Some of them are hack that is hazard analysis critical control point and preventative controls plus prerequisite programs, microbiology testing, foreign material testing, process checks, incoming ingredient and packaging safety checks. The fourth sector is regulatory. They make sure the new product is legal and safe. Regulations may include the product name, standard of identity, nutrition labeling, and product codes. The fifth and last sector is marketing and sales. They define product market and positioning, confirm consumer need for a new product through surveys and consumer data, develop an advertising strategy, monitor competitor sales and new product introductions, help design product packaging, especially tied to attracting the target audience and provide input on the product name. The sectors defined in this video are just a basic structure of what is required. This may vary according to the needs. For example, a multinational FMCG company may have more than a division under each sector. At the same time, a very small product under a new brand may have one person doing all the job. It doesn't matter how many people you have. All that matters is how you do it. Everything initially started small congrats on finishing this video. In the next video, we will be discussing some of the challenges of product development.